buying cottages and the top 10 things you need to know before you buy a cottage. Number three is the service of the water to the cottage property. So is this coming from a lake, from a well? Where is the water actually coming from and can you drink it? So there's a term that is common in cottage country world, which is potable, which means can you or can you not drink the water that's coming through the tap? So is this cottage property on grid or off grid? That will really determine how expensive it is to service the electricity, the water, and the heat of the property. Number six is waste management. Now this is everything from your garbage disposal to number two, the doo-doo. What is up YouTube, Matt McKeever here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about buying cottages and the top 10 things you need to know before you buy a cottage. Today, Rebecca from my We Buy Cottages business is gonna be on the show breaking down for you guys exactly what to expect. So if you guys didn't know and you're looking to buy a cottage in Ontario, you definitely need to join our buyers list. We'll throw a link in the video description down below, but otherwise, uh, we'll hand it off to Rebecca and she'll break down for us the top 10 things you need to know before you buy a cottage. What's going on YouTube? It's Rebecca Lynn Matheson here and today we're going to be talking about the top things that you need to know before you buy a cottage. Let's start with number one, access. So you're going to need to know about if the property can be accessed in the winter time or not. This is really important if you're considering buying a four season cottage. Number two is seasonality. So can this cottage property be used all year round or not? So we're looking at is this property winterized or can it be winterized if you're looking for a four season cottage? Number three is the service of the water to the cottage property. So is this coming from a lake, from a well? Where is the water actually coming from and can you drink it? So there's a term that is common in cottage country world, which is potable, which means can you or can you not drink the water that's coming through the tap? So that's a really important point that you need to make sure of before you jump into buying a cottage property. Number four is the cost of utilities. So is this cottage property on grid or off grid? That will really determine how expensive it is to service the electricity, the water, and the heat of the property. So make sure that you understand the full cost of the utilities going to this property. Are you gonna need to bring in a propane tank? Is it on a direct gas line? So ensure that you check into this before you jump into a cottage. Number five, local amenities. So just in case anything happens, you should know where the hospitals are and how close are you to a grocery store. All of these things are important considerations. Number six is waste management. Now this is everything from your garbage disposal to number two, the doo-doo. So when you're looking at a cottage property and waste management, you have to consider is it on a sewer or a septic tank? Because if it is on a septic tank, there's a lot of other things that you need to do to ensure that there's not an issue. Number seven is rentability. So you may or may not know, but Airbnb isn't allowed in every area of Ontario. Blue Mountain and Collingwood, for example, you're actually not allowed to have a short-term Airbnb rental. So you need to actually look into the city guidelines and ensure that if Airbnb is your strategy or other short-term rentals, you have to ensure that you're actually able to do it. Now, some areas like Grand Bend, Muskoka are flourishing with Airbnb rentals. So depending on what your goals and your strategy is, make sure you look into the city guidelines. Number eight is boundaries of the property. It's really important that you know where the boundaries lie because you don't want any angry neighbors. Also, it really changes the landscape of the property depending on where the trees are. So if you have a tree on your side of the property line versus the other side of the property line, it can actually change your view of the water or it can change your privacy. So just ensure that you understand where those property lines lay. Now our friend Kyle Ford has a great example of this. He actually bought two neighboring properties and he was able to make one a waterfront property by just cutting down some of the trees on his neighboring property, increasing the value 
significantly. So knowing the property boundaries is very important. For number nine, inspection and due diligence, you can refer back to Cottage Buying 101. It's another video on this channel where we're gonna break down the five important inspections that you should have on your property. And finally, number 10, you need to understand the maintenance and operational cost of, of the property. With a cottage property, there is a seasonality to it. So after the winter, you may have additional operation or maintenance costs in order to get the property up and running for its prime rental season. Thanks for joining me on today's video. Again, my name is Rebecca Lynn Matheson. Now, if you liked today's content, you should hop over to www.cottagebuyers.com slash private deals where you can find your very own private off-market cottage deal. Now, another thing that you should know, follow me on Instagram and like and subscribe if you're not already to Matt's channel and comment in the comment section below if you wanna see more videos like this. You can also hop over to my YouTube channel, Rebecca Lynn Matheson, for more great content. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again to Rebecca for taking the time to shoot this video. And a quick reminder, guys, if you didn't realize it, this is actually based upon a free e-guide we put together. So I literally spent like a lot of time, wrote over 6,000 words on buying a cottage, and we put it all together into a really pretty bundle with a bow on top for you guys. Grab a free copy in the video description down below. Otherwise, if you're looking to buy a cottage in Ontario, Canada right now, make sure you jump on our buyers list because we're coming up with a lot of interesting deals. Recently, we had a four island deal that we were discussing, so make sure you get on that buyers list even if you're just curious, really encourage you guys to do so. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're new to my channel, and let me know what does your dream cottage look like in that comment section down below. Mine involves waterfront, ideally an island, um, and no, no neighbors. Thanks, guys.